In the last video, I gave you homework to create this image uploader file, and if you did, then good on you. Today, we're going to go through the answers, and really, to create that file, all you needed to do is copy this entire file, make a new file under uploaders, and call it image uploaders, like what I have here, and change the class to image, image uploader, and that's all you really needed to do. So I'll just save that file, do a refresh, and everything is fine. Now, something else if your if your expiration date is coming up as y y y y m m d d then what i want you to do is go to your javascript create a new file and paste in this code this expiry field code will make it so that when you focus in it'll show this y y y m m m d d d if you focus out like that then it'll actually show expiration date so this is what the JavaScript code does. Something's going on with my app, so I don't, I can't reproduce that right now, but I did run into it earlier. But if it's a problem for you and it's happening for you, then make sure to just add this code in, and whenever you focus into the field, it'll give you this years, months, and days. If you focus out, then it'll give you the placeholder expiration date. Now, something that you might not like is this zero that keeps on coming up and you want it so that when you when you refresh the page when you hop on that page to not a zero but you get the placeholder weight in grams now the reason for that is is because I made a little bit of a mistake in our create or products this default zero we actually really don't need it because what it's telling us is that it's telling the system to telling the app to when when we start this page when we load this page pre-populate it with the value zero because it has default zero so we don't want that so we just take that out and save it um, you'll have to reset your database and re-migrate again or you could go to your database and I'm using SQL Pro so if you go to your database for project MuleDev under here go turn into structure see this default is zero you just double click it get rid of it and that's that so next thing you'll do is go and restart your server so it'll capture those changes and we'll just hop back into our browser here and now whenever we refresh our page we should get nothing so if I click on the refresh button then weight in grams is not zero anymore so that's how we fix our problem there and that's really all I wanted to go through for today um, just to show you the the code we needed to to go through in order to 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 make this page show up other than that please rate comment subscribe if you enjoy these videos leave comments and questions in the comment box and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching